Hey, how's it going, YouTubers? Fomencho here, back again for another video. Thank you for tuning in. Today, it is time to talk about Final Fantasy XV. There was a live presentation today. A lot of crazy stuff went down, a lot of big reveals. Very, very exciting. So, before I begin, I love Final Fantasy. I grew up playing Final Fantasy uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. I, I didn't actually haven't played not too much of 9. That's, that's one game that I haven't played too much of. Um, but... Grew up playing a lot of Final Fantasy. The last game that I actually really enjoyed was Final Fantasy X. I, I didn't really like Final Fantasy XI. That was that weird MMO thing. Final Fantasy XII was a departure from what was originally there. And XIII really turned me off with just a very linear experience. And I, I've always been kind of just meh when it comes to Final Fantasy lately. I mean, it, nothing has really gotten me excited. But I gotta be honest, this presentation, this live stream was very, very exciting. I loved pretty much everything that I saw. There was a lot of cool things shown. And I've always been somewhat mildly uh, intrigued by this game. Uh, number one, the visuals are fantastic. Every time I see this game, it just looks better and better. And it's almost unbelievable at some points when you see um, some of the lighting and the shadows and just the detail um, and the intricacy of just the characters and just the environments. and. Very, very beautiful. Just a very beautiful game. And, and it's kind of hard not to be intrigued by it. But the gameplay itself, I was never super excited about. But as I've seen more, and as I, during this presentation, I, I liked what, I actually loved what I saw. I, 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 I'm really looking forward to this game now. This, this presentation did exactly what it was supposed to do, and it was to get people pumped and hyped for this game. And I am extremely hyped for this game now. So I'm just going to kind of run down some of the announcements. I'm not going to go through everything because I do kind of want to keep this video a little bit short. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Um, but just I'm going to point out some of the things that I really enjoyed out of this live stream. So first things first, um, hats off to the people that produced this thing. Hats off to the host. Um, it was a very uh, well-flowing show. Everything worked uh, it was very, it was very nice. It was one of the best uh, presentations I've seen in a while. I mean, Sony um, has done pretty well in the past, and uh, you know, just during E3, there's all these press conferences, but none of them necessarily wow me in presentation. They show a lot of great things. Don't get me wrong, but just the way they present them is never the best. But this, honestly, it was really well done. It was, it was a great show. Um, they kept you on your toes. It was really exciting. And I liked it. I really did. Just straight up, it was it was a fantastic show. Um, it was like an hour and a half long. Uh, it felt like, but it only felt like maybe thirty minutes. Um, it just kind of flew by, and that's that's great when it comes to a presentation. You don't want to bore the audience. And hats off to the audience as well. It was a very excited, very uh, hype crowd, and I, that was just awesome seeing. It was awesome hearing um, how excited the fans were uh, of the series. And I'm not sure how much of that was just press. I don't know who exactly got into this thing, um, but it's just nice to see the fans uh, cheering for a game that we've been waiting for for damn near a decade. So that was really awesome. Um, the stuff that they showed, the exploration, looked really, really cool. Again, this game just looks unbelievable. Wow, this game looks beautiful. Um, just so much um, awesome landscapes to explore. And I'm curious to see how much of that is explorable. How much of, can you just go wherever you want, walk off the road and explore this, you know, the barren lands of the desert or, you know, in just the fields. I'm curious how um, much of that is, is legitimately explorable. Um, but it does look really good regardless. It just looks like a very fleshed out, very beautiful world. Um, a lot of games nowadays have been very big. There's so many open world games out there, and it's nice to see Final Fantasy kind of um, embracing that a bit more. I mean, Final Fantasy games have always been somewhat open world, um, especially the past games like Final Fantasy VII and uh, VIII, and, you know, with the overworld map and everything, it's always been somewhat uh, open world, and it's nice to see them kind of go back to that, and it, I don't know, it's exciting. It just looks so very nice. Um, the combat they showed a bit of, again, I... I <laughs> call me a purist, but I love turn-based RPGs. I loved uh, Final Fantasy, you know, seven, six, nine, ten, you know, that whole thing. I loved those games because of just how simplistic they were, but yet complicated they were. It was like a game of chess, almost, um, but not quite that crazy. Um, but this is definitely more action-oriented, and I, I, I'm turning over. I'm getting more excited about it, and I'm, I'm kind of. Um, getting rid of that, that just that bitterness that I have towards action RPGs. And I'm, I'm starting to, they're starting to win me over. That's the, what I'm, I'm looking for. They're winning me over with this combat style and it looks very exciting. Um, it looks really over the top and that's, that's cool. Um, 
there is a Final Fantasy anime coming out titled Brotherhood Final Fantasy XV. Um, looks really exciting. I don't know the production studio behind it, but the animation does look pretty good. Um, it's five episodes. The first episode is out now, so I'm probably going to end up watching that sometime soon. It looks good. Uh, I definitely want to know more about these characters like Noctis and Ignis and Brutus or a lot of at the end of their names uh this it looks fun it, it looks like a fun series and it's going to be nice to know the backstory of of these characters because i mean this game i'm guessing is going to be 200 hours long so it's going to be nice to already have a connection with them before you even play the game um so seeing that was really cool and also seeing florence uh plus the machine uh do stand by me uh in the trailer i thought was just I mean, that's a beautiful song, and, and I've been a big fan of Florence and the Machine for quite some time, and it's nice to see her working with Square Enix in this title. And it was, it, was a very, it was very well done, and I thought it was actually pretty fitting in the trailer. I thought it, it, it works. I don't necessarily like um, that kind of music put into video game trailers or just in video games in general, but it really worked to me. It, 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 there's this theme that they're going with, um, you know, just with brotherhood and these characters sticking together and, you know, standing by each other if you must. And I think that that song really uh, shows what this game is actually going to be about. And it's about, you know, these brothers, these guys, these, I'm not, I, I'm not they're not all related, but just these, these, these dudes that are just going on an adventure together. And I like that. That kind of harkens back to what an RPG is really about. It's just characters sticking together, their party, just going on we're on a crazy adventure starting from nothing going to something crazy <clears throat> so that's really cool um they also showed a live action-esque cgi movie um looks cool it looks reminiscent of not um <clears throat> not i don't want to say advent children it looks more like spirit of dreams i think that's what that movie was called i've never even watched it all the way through um it looks similar to that it looks kind of real ish but not really um, you have Aaron Paul in there. You have uh, Lena Headey, he 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 I believe, and Sean Bean. I honest, I don't really care too much about this. I, I just it kind of takes me out of that world that it's live action or not necessarily live action, but it just looks a lot more detailed than the game itself. So it kind of takes you out. With the anime, it's just it's it's a little bit different. It's more I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, so yeah, Aaron, I love Aaron Paul. I love Sean Bean. It's nice to see them in this, I guess. I just this story I don't really care about. The anime with, you know, Brotherhood, I feel like is a much more um exciting story. I, I in my opinion at least. But it's going to be nice to get some lore um before this game comes out. Um they showed something about the, the worst part about this entire presentation and there wasn't too much bad, but this they showed th this Audi, this car. I thought that was really stupid. I don't know why they even brought that up. I don't know why this car is in this film. Um, it just, it was really dumb. I, I didn't see the reason to even point that out. And that was one of the announcements, quote unquote, that they uh, re revealed. And it was just kind of stupid. I just didn't see the need for that at all. Uh, it was just kind of whack. Like, what the hell? Like, I was just... Like, they showed this great trailer for this film, and then it was like, oh, let's just zoom into that car and see its interior and all the designs. And I'm like, yeah, it looks cool, and it's nice to see a partnership with... I, I don't know. Like, why is a video game company partnering with Audi? Like, that doesn't really make sense to me. It's just unnecessary money to be spent, it seems like. But I don't know. I, 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 don't, I don't really... I just don't really care about that. Um... Again, showing some more of the world, revealing a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, the mini game, uh, the pinball thing, it doesn't really do much for me. It looks cool, I guess. I'm not going to download it. It just looks like any other pinball kind of Final Fantasy. It, I don't know. It just meh, meh, just straight up meh. Um, it was cool seeing the chocobos. Again, I know this is kind of unstructured. This, I'm not doing this in any kind of order. I'm just kind of doing this unscripted. But uh, it was cool seeing the chocobos in there. Seeing them drift was awesome. I loved that. I, I heard the crowd just go crazy when they saw that. They were like, yeah, chocobos are cool. And then seeing them drift, they were like, oh, shit, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> that was really cool to see. Um, yeah, this thing is coming up September 30th. I love how they kind of trolled the audience a bit with the November, then flipping back to September. That was really cool. That was actually just so well done. I thought that was just so beautifully done. Um, getting the old guys back, you know, Nobuya Matsu doing uh, like a video thing. Uh, and it was just cool. I mean, he's a legend. This guy's a straight up legend and having uh, Suguchi in there as well. It's just, it's nice to see that. Um, it doesn't, really have much to do with the game to be honest but it's, it's just nice to see that in any final fantasy uh related 
game or you know whatever um so yeah release date september 30th they showed a special edition uh two different special editions which are going to be incredibly expensive i can tell you that right now i i think that the first one is going to be about 80 dollars or maybe a hundred dollars tops and i think that that ultimate edition that thing is going to be like 150 dollars, probably more i'm not going to lie that's extremely expensive i they didn't reveal the price for them i they, they should have made a 16th announcement and revealed the price for them because i know they're going to be crazy outrageously expensive um then the last trailer they showed uh kind of uh just a big uh culmination of everything that they showed over the night uh was very beautifully done just a great trailer showing a lot of crazy stuff showing a lot of the gameplay a lot of the fights some of the story the story does sound really interesting and and this is the first time because i've always been intrigued i've never f put too much of my effort into you know researching this game and learning about the characters and its lore so it, this is kind of like my first um look at what this game is really about and i like i'm like what i'm seeing i love that this the, you know this with the throne and then the crystal and then his father and it just it it's nice it, it's a classic story but yet it's so modern because of its setting it's very weird modern slash kind of Victorian-ish. It, it's it's a very interesting setting, and, and I'm really excited to see how it unfolds. And seeing more of it in these trailers is just it, it really it's awesome. It really is awesome. Um, and then the last part about about the trailer, and I feel like it just got kind of you know pushed aside was the car literally turning into it looks to be like a bat wing, like a bat plane or something from Batman, um, just taking off. And I'm like, wow! I wish that trailer just went on an extra thirty seconds just to see it flying around the world. That would have been incredible. Oh my God. Flying over uh, this extremely detailed world um, is going to be an incredible experience. That really is. I, I, I'm kind of glad that they didn't show it because I want that to be um, organic when you're playing the game, you know, just seeing that. But my God, that's going to be exciting. So overall, great presentation. I loved what uh, they showed. I love how they presented it. It was very well done. Uh, hats off to the producers again. Um, just a great show. It was a great show. It got everyone really hyped for it. I wasn't looking forward to this game, really, and now I I, I very much am. And plus, the demo is coming out. It's already out, probably. Um, the Platinum demo, I believe is what it's called, um, which looks really awesome. I really like what they're doing there. It looks really it looks like Kingdom Hearts. It looks like straight-up Kingdom Hearts, so that's really cool. Um, I, I'll probably end up downloading that later tonight and playing that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I love this presentation and I am very hyped for this game now. So yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think of Final Fantasy 15 and this live stream. Did you like what they showed? Uh, are you excited about this game? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed anything I had to talk about. Subscribing helps me out even more. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Fumetro7 for updates on this channel and everything regarding anime, manga, video games, and film. And yeah, Again, thank you for watching, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.